For what? Cheers. For this election. Yeah. <laughs> what? It's so sad. I'm sorry. I should I watch. We what do you see? Smoking. What do you see in that? For Thursday? Yeah. For Thursday? Yeah. What do I see? Yeah, happening. I think if, shouldn't the, should the plan still be the same? Yeah. Yeah? I think so. Do yeah. you guys? I don't know. I don't know. Everyone's using your, your perfect lotion. I'm sorry. Your vanilla lotion. I will return in lotion. Who gets a bruise in their chest oh, like no. that? You look like you got punched in the chest. I thought it was like slop. What is it? A bruise. A bruise. Don't ask how. A necklace maybe? Did you fall on? Oh, your mic. You probably just crushed your mic on something. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk. Um, so I think that, do you think anyone should stay? Yeah. You do? Maybe. Why? No, no it's not Joe's opinion, it's my opinion. Why do you think that? Like, do you, what do you see the benefit of? Honestly, I don't care. I'm going home. Me and my shrimp. <laughs> but, but the thing is, do, do you think there would be enough votes to keep Anil? I don't know. I don't I'll stir anything up yet. No way. I wasn't going to say anyone. I think um, the, the house is uh, going. I don't need to vote. Going, so I'm kind of over. The house is going. Like, the house will go with the power flow. Okay. So you can't say anything because she can't. I want to say, you know when to We just like to talk it out. We did this when it was Kat and. Yeah. Uh, we had to talk it out. I meant that right. she was so up against. if Anil goes, which is really think what do you will want? happen. Tell us how you, what do you feel in your gut right now? Who do you trust? Who do you feel close to? And don't I, uh, fart. I don't. I don't. Okay. <laughs> I'm just Usually my gut tells me, and I feel like Anil's going to try to redeem himself, mm -hmm. but I don't know if he's going to just try to redeem himself to the guys. Right. Right? So I don't think that I could trust him, but I wouldn't be surprised if one of the guys wins HOH next week and then puts Danielle up. I could still see that happening. I'll, yeah, I don't know. I think they're both in danger anyway. I don't really think it matters. Yeah, so whichever one goes the first, goes the first. Yeah, the next one will go next. Yeah, but I really, uh, but I don't think that, um, I think with the guys that, they would send out a Neil first. No, I'm asking you. Do you trust either of them? I don't trust I don't trust Neil at all. Okay. I trust Danielle, mm. but until, like, we'll see how long the trust, the trust lasts for, right? Yeah. That depends, like, if she wins, what does she plan on doing? If she were to win, I think maybe there could be a division. In the house. Yes, because who would she gun for, right? Well, that's the thing, is she's either gonna show, like, she's gonna have to show her allegiance. And is she willing to do that? Because would she be the first one to get blood, will she, will she be one of the first girls to get blood on her hands? So then would she have votes? Cause she'd probably gun for bigger guys. I know she would. She Danielle, she said it out loud a hundred times. She said she's going for Emmett and Tom. But I don't know why, she, like I could see why she would gun for Tom, but I don't see why Emmett. You could just put them up against each other. But then someone could win that, and then who Get, would get she back in back door then. But then who would she back door? <laughs> this could, should be called Big Big Brother back door. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Because right now we have it good with the guys. Well, when I originally tipped Danielle at the set, I was like, you know, I don't think. I was 100% like for him, and I was like, you know, like this is just a pawn. I was true, like a true. Mm -hmm. I know, and then things change. Mm -hmm. And now people are talking and they're getting her out, like too. So I'm just stressing out because but I don't want to look like the biggest backstab. But media. it's not your fault because we all know that days change, conversations change. But I mean, I know what I'm sticking to, like, and like that's been discussed. I mean, if she wants to be the first girl that falls off the girl pack, then I mean. That's kind of inevitable because maybe the, I mean, Tom would want her gone anyways. Mm -hmm. So if anyone wins that they don't want to win, that's when that's when shit would change. And don't underestimate Gary. No shit. <laughs> like, Gary's not stupid. It's Gary, like, I just don't know how we do in the mental game. I mean, that's anyone's game. I think have a good advantage. I think the boy. I think Tom and Emmett are gonna give it all they got for HOH, so they're not a uh, have not. Oh, I do not want to be having. I, I think cry. they're gonna give it. I don't think they even care about HOH. I think they just want to guarantee. Yeah. They're gonna have. Yeah, definitely sticking on the same team. I am gonna try to win it. Yeah. Obviously, it depends if it's in my wheelhouse. Like if I can. Like let's say you won HOH on Thursday. Yeah. 
then would you, would, would, like, where, like, would you pursue that? Well, I want Tom out. You do? Yeah. No, dumb, dumb. Oh, <laughs> do you, you want to see that? You want to see that? Um, I don't know. I don't, it depends who goes this week and how they behave. Because I think Anil and Danielle both have the potential to be an ally. I think they both have the potential to be a very scary enemy. Really? So I need to see who stays <coughs> and how the house works out. Like, Who's I don't a scarier enemy, though, I wonder? Uh, Gary Danielle. is, oh, I thought, we were, I thought Gary was that. Gary has scared me in competition so much, like, I can't win against him. You don't think so? No. You really don't think so? I don't think I can win against Gary. Like, he's proven himself, like, really a fighter. Yeah. Unless it's mental, but no one in this house has had a chance to prove their mental skills yet. And what does mental mean? Is it a puzzle? Is it memory? Is it A, B? Like, that's all mental, but it's all very different yeah. functions. Oh, I didn't even know it was like the stairs on the ceiling. Because if things go, like, let's say Anil goes this week, and then next week, depending on which one of the dream team wins, then I could see Gary being put up, I could see Suzette being put up. And that Gary just means the dream team has to keep winning and not slip up, or then the house of cards starts to crumble. Mm. But let's just say someone from the dream team does not win, let it be Gary or Suzette. Who talks the dream team? <coughs> the dream team is like who we, the, the everyone nine. but the six. Yeah, the nine. And that's when the guns will drop and that's when the girls have to stick together. Because then the guys will, mm -hmm. right? Because when you look at Alec, you look at Topaz. They're, they're one. Yep. But who's going to be willing to break that up? Me, no problem. Yep. When would you have that, when would you do that? <laughs> Whenever I needed to. Say for later in the game, be earlier in the beginning of the game. It'd be later. You don't fucking bring out your big guns until it's time to play. No, I, I mean, agree with that yeah. so much. Mm -hmm. Yep, so that's why, like, being... Like, if, oh. There's too many floaters. There's too many numbers in this house to, to, to be stupid enough to think you have any sort of power. It would just be stupid to make that move. Yeah. I, if someone's going to make the move, it has to be anyone but the dream team. The dream team. Anyone but the dream team. I mean, any, someone on the dream team has to win. Yeah. And I really don't doubt that any of us could, obviously. But we still can't underestimate. It's so scary to think there are going to be 13 people in this house, and I think it's going to be a competition that is anyone's game. Are you really close with Gary? I'm close with Gary, but I don't, I, like, I don't know. I feel like him and Danielle are really close. They're really close. Like, me and Gary are close. It could be a fun, laugh, we glitter. <clears throat> but I don't want that to be mistaken for anything, and I don't think that that is, mm -hmm. because I don't know... Like, he's really close with Danielle. I can't wait to have a shower and lay in bed with Jillian tonight. <laughs> That's I all know, I'm thinking lucky. about. I'm like, Fair it's enough. okay, Liza. Tonight's going to end with a hot shower and a, a yeah. slumber party. <laughs> I think that actually what Tom would maybe do if he won, maybe put Gary and Danielle up. Or Gary and Suzette and then backdoor Danielle. Or ba get Gary the, uh, well, the only person we know in this house, what they're thinking for sure, is Tom. Yeah. Tom has been very consistent and very clear about yeah. his plan. So, that if... If he wins HOH, I can't see Gary being gone. Like when it comes to like week five. So because he was like, Tom was like, tell us, think about Jerry House and who like you would. If I was to go into Jerry House and the first person who was walking around with me was Gary, I mean, yeah, you guys have so much fun. It'd be like me and AJ. I would fucking freak out. Yeah, like hey, if I walked like, into Jerry House and then AJ walked in after, I'd be like, I got it. I'm out. I'm not a vote. But you do good like with putting up with him. Like you guys have. Your we're good better. Thing. We had I a good morning. Away. I don't know, I know. I don't even listen to a damn thing he has to say. When soon as he's beside me, I'm like, I'm out of this conversation. Yeah. He, we I like listen to his first speech, and I'm like, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> and I casually grab him, get up, and just walk, walk away. away. Yeah. So, so like mean, it. but, like, what is wrong with you? It's kind of, yeah. Get, like, like your social shit together. <laughs> My patience. It's very uh, socially awkward, which is weird if you're very socially adept. It just the incompatibility is very hard for me to handle. But I, he thinks that he's really good with the guys. He thinks he's tight as... Like rocks. You know, like rocks leather assless chaps on a yeah. uh, YMCA yep. <laughs> guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How can he think that? Well, because he talks and then he feels like he's good with the guys. And that's you know what, what concerns me? me about us. Do you know what he said to me? Why? The other day he's like, um, I'm talking, I'm like, so how are you with the guys? You look really good. He's like, what about the girls? Like, you know, like, what do you guys think? Like, are you guys all really close? And I was like, what, he's gonna go send this all of information to the guys? I'm like, I'm pretty good with everyone. Yeah. No, but that doesn't make me safe. So even though we have guys around us saying that, you know, AJ is just a swing vote or whatever, he's just whatever, like, 
AJ is not on my team. AJ is in boy mind. And he's AJ isn't here yeah. to protect any one of us. No. He mm -hmm. is a vote for the boys when they need it. Yeah. And he's also like Andrew, obviously, likes me. Um, yeah, he asked you on a date yesterday. <laughs> Him and me and Andrew? Andrew asked you on a date. Remember, like, oh, you he did. On a date, and then after? I know. He's like, after this, can I take you to a Jays game and buy you a beer? And, and then you said, said to you? Yeah. What'd you say? <laughs> I was like, yeah. Sure. He, then he and I showed him my butt. I went like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, he really likes me, though. Um, but what scares me is Andrew, who is definitely likes me, um, very tight with AJ. Those two are getting real close. So this could either work to the girl's advantage or disadvantage. No. It just really depends on who wins the hate. Which one's really yeah, Andrew Tracy. And he likes me, Ashley. Like, you like me squared? Like, 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 like she can't. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Don't be sorry. Um, <laughs> um, like, who would your eyes... I mean, I think... I think that I know that if you play our cards right, which, I mean, I know where I stand in my heart, mm -hmm. and we have this discussion, and I think that we can, can go far, but which one of the guys is going to drop the ball? Yeah, who's going to cut the throat? Who's going to do that? So when no. the perfect opportunity arises, it's going to have to be done. But that's when we need, that's when some, I mean, that's when some of the other guys are going to probably, we're going to hear their conversations and you're going to gun for and hopefully it's not going to be any of the girls. <sighs> like if they go, like if Emil goes and then Zip goes and then, Gear goes and Danielle goes. I mean, that's just that, that's like the dream team that we're like hoping for. Yeah. But what if I wouldn't like mind? I'd love that dream team for me. Hmm. If we can just get to the nine, and then start making strategic unless moves. Someone unless someone of the dream team messes Doesn't, that up. Or we don't win. I don't think any. I really, in my heart, don't think any of the dream team is stupid enough to make a big play right now. No. But there's a there's a high chance that we lose H O H, and then we're fucked. We're losing a number. Like. The dream team has to just keep winning HOH, and it's not that hard. We're so mentally and physically su we superior. <laughs> Unless you choose to draw, like, throw it, which is like, just don't you. That's the thing, the floaters, I know they're gonna throw it. I know Peter's not gonna make big moves right now. I know um, Topaz isn't gonna make any moves. Mm -hmm. I know Andrew isn't gonna make any moves. AJ can't fucking win if his goddamn life <laughs> depended on anything. So that is so much pressure, and Joe can't play. So, so what is it? Is it you, me, fucking Emmett, and Tom have to win this thing? I'm so fired, I feel so pressure. That's, like that's is seriously what it is, what I just said. Right, and I guess Alex. Well, I'll be, fucking, I'll be rooting for you so on the sideline, trust me. Uh, like, but I'm just saying, like, there's a group so guys, who are going to throw your, it. What's your strategy? What do you like to hear? Do you like to, me to talk you up? Or do you, would you rather me just shut, shut up? No. Wing tipping. That's so cute. <laughs> you can say whatever you want. I get no, but zone. that'll help you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just but like don't make it obvious. Just motivate me. Yeah, so just to everyone. Go Liza and tell her you're my favorite winning <laughs> bitches. Take yeah. it home. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That would be just perfect. But then who, let's say I won, who am I putting up? Don't worry about that when you fucking win. I feel that confident that I'm going to. Yeah. I fucking do. I it's think mental, you have a demand. You move right up there. Last one. 95% of my first side test, flawless. Just saying. No baby. No autographs. One. <laughs> 95, oh, on your first, sorry, I didn't understand yeah. what you meant. You win, who's going up? Um, I don't know. We'll figure that out when it comes. Oh. It'll change. Mine changed the day of. It'll change. <laughs> no, yeah. but like, hopefully it's like, it, it, it's just scary to think because one of us, I believe one of us will. But you're into, will. your your short-term goal is keeping the dream team alive. So I think that the short-term goal is... That's my short-term goal right now. Yeah, yeah. and then the long-term goal is hopefully, like, if the girls can continue to dominate, I mean, keeping it low profile, then we'll then put our minds together and make... That would be worst-case scenario for me is the boys picking off the little ladies one by one. And, the, and that's what I'm scared of with the dream team because the boys outweigh the girls in that. I know. Mm -hmm. Should have been like fucking how many more girls and guys. But there is some girls, but things I don't know 100% where their commitment is. Like, so that hasn't really been included in this patch. But uh, it would be just the three of us and Topaz because the plan is to get rid of Danielle and mm -hmm. Suzette. And, I, and that will And Kat's already gone, so that just leaves us three and Topaz. And guys, the other guys are not stupid. And then one of us girls has to win, so then we can drop off one of the guys. Yeah. And then it'll be four and four. And We're going to go after each other's showmances for sure. For sure. <laughs> no. You're like, sorry, Jill. What? Emma's got to go. <laughs> I don't have a showman. <laughs> but, <laughs> or whatever. Like, I don't have and I'm okay with it. <laughs> yeah. Because I feel like it would be so super cool if some chicks took it home. Me too. Yeah. Like, it and, but it can happen though. Like, I really believe, I know this, I feel so confident. Like, I know that we can do this. If we choose to stick to our cards. Girls have just as good as a chance of winning these competitions of as course. guys. That's when we make the smart move. Like if we, when we have to make those moves, make the fucking moves. But that's why these people have to go out of the way to lead us to the wolf pack. Mm -hmm. right? I would love, like, 
my thing right now. 